I feel like the weight of who like who's my friend or is has now got to do with material transactions. Yeah. Like Which this person didn't, didn't wish me on my birthday, didn't buy me a gift on it, my it's birthday. It's very silly. So I don't know. Friend, <laughs> me self, me my as I day here right now, my birthday self. Last year I forgot my birthday. I'm telling you. I dated this lady, right? <coughs> one of one of my exes. And then we dated for nearly three years. She never posted me. <laughs> she never posted me. But okay. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome to yet another exciting episode on your favorite podcast in the whole wide world. If this is the first time watching us, please do well to click on the subscribe button and to our returning viewers, we can't thank you enough. We really appreciate the support, the encouragement, and we are glad that you returned. What's up, man? Bro, yeah, it's Charlie. I've been stressed lately, Charlie. I'm, I'm, I'm just getting to 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 the bottom of of my 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 strength i just can't cope anymore it's it's crazy yeah the work is not really stressful but i don't know it's like there are so many things just trying to push push me down but do you know what i think i mm. think it's our body now responding to this the the kind of busy schedule we had in the last yeah few weeks. i think i think so i think yeah. so because at work and at school it's been Charlie. quite rough yeah. yeah i think it's just our body you know responding to that yeah space. can't be can't be so guys uh there's something interesting we are bringing your way so we've decided that yep. before we begin every episode we will bring you a food for thought go ahead with our, our our normal vibes and then when we end the video we will give you a question for the day you put your comments or your answers in the comment section and then hopefully or possibly we'll read a few of them in, in the next episode. Yep. So, and we are trying to structure it so that we can bring you three episodes every week. We'll, yeah. we'll, we'll try our best to work on that. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Cool. So, I'm going to begin with today's Food for Thoughts, yeah. which will align with our topic for discussion today. It says here, I think it's from Mindy Cullen, says, real friends are the ones you can count on no matter what. The ones who go into the forest to find you and bring you home. And real friends never have to tell you that they are your friends. So they have no point. They don't prove that they are your friends. Their actions show. Yeah, absolutely. I, I completely agree with you yeah. on that. Because uh, especially the first part that says that they are the ones you can count on. Yeah. You know, sometimes we are tempted to think that we can only count on people for things that has to benefit us. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm counting on you to give me some money. I'm mm -hmm. counting on you to give me some support yeah. or something like that. But sometimes, that counting on you can even be someone who can correct you. Exactly. You can count on that person that if you're messing up, they'll correct you. Do you know, so so let's let's start this way. Um, how do people choose friends? Like, growing up, since childhood, you, you've had so many friends. You've... I think you've recycled and remodified, and some of them <laughs> yeah, have changed certainly. from caterpillars to butterflies. <laughs> now, what what were your criteria for choosing friends when you were young, and has it changed over time? To be to be very honest, growing up, I, just, I never really I don't know. It's not just me. We never really had the chance <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> exactly because spontaneously your yeah. friends were the the other children in your neighborhood, yeah. your classmates from mm -hmm. school. Yeah. These were the people you they, they became friends and mm -hmm. most of these friends from then were um so my mom knows their mom and so our, our parents are friends, so yeah. we become, become friends. friends. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, and 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 up till date mm -hmm. I have people like that who have still been there mm -hmm. and we are now like what I would now call proper friends. Yeah, you get yeah, it. Yeah, that's but true. Yeah. I mean sometimes we are tempted to think uh Facebook friends are yeah. friends, Instagram followers are friends, yeah. your classmates are your friends, but yeah. it's just, yeah. yeah. I think with, with me as well, yeah. Um, back, you know, 
that sense of communism is there in Ghana. Yeah. You don't force friends when you are young, like you are playing with. Even if you are the introvert type, you still got friends. You get people mm-hmm. to come around. You play in the dirt. You do all those things. Yeah, but when when you grow, you begin to learn more things. Yeah. Then it looks like your your values, like um, what you want to do, the things you have interest in, shapes the kind of friends you have. Yeah. If you are that bad boy, you, you like playing with we, we had this mm-hmm. uh, we call mama neda that you know you have where, <laughs> where you are uh, a very bad boy oh no no <laughs> don't act as if you didn't do you didn't do. hey i yeah, cannot we, confirm you know, or you know, so so <laughs> you had you have very bad friends you yeah. have the good friends you have the ones in between but if you are the very bad ones you see that you align with yeah but if you are the one who is sort of aligning with the bad ones and your your spirit or like the way you are naturally made, it's it's not aligning. You you realize that you begin to dissociate yourself from them and begin to associate with those who are like your like terms. You understand? Yeah. That is where that friction. on Oh yeah, You you've left me. You know that kind you know, of thing. Sometimes in, 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 and I, sometimes I feel like it can also be the other way around. If you're in a particular circle of friends and like you rightly said, you're not aligning with them. They can also move away. So sometimes it's not you moving away. Yeah. The other side I, can I, also it, move it's away. It's true. Because at the end of the day, we all want to be friends with people mm. who have got similar interests, like yeah. you rightly pointed yeah. out. Because I remember quite classic, <laughs> this is a very classic example, when we were in nursing school, there was this person that I was very close with from, um, I think right from first year, even before we even came to school, I knew this person. Mm. But when we got in, when school started you know day-to-day activities it just felt like nah, yeah you know yeah. i'm still very cool with this person yeah. we talk almost every day yeah. every now and then but that kind of vibe it's, is no longer there no longer there are there. limits to stuff we yeah. can talk about and all of those things so yeah so that that brings me um to this question that i bothers my mind sometimes you, you lose friends without actual quarrels there's nothing really negative that happens but you you realize that these people that you were very close to all of a sudden you, you've you've moved you dissociate yourself from them with, without any thought it just comes effortlessly and before you realize you are with a new clique or you are you are with a new group of friends what what could contribute to that is it just the values or what do you think um i think there are a lot of factors to this and i'll give an example so Growing up, I had a very good friend from, I think, from KG to um, somewhere class one or class two. I mean, so yeah, I think class one. And then they had to be transferred. Mm. We were very young then. And our, our families were friends. Mm. So automatically, we were also friends and we were kind of best friends then. So we separated. And years later like years years <laughs> years later oh, I, I think I have a our like families <laughs> my mom and um his mom yeah. met again yeah. and through that we reconnected yeah and that vibe till they that person i'm talking about has held me down back when i was in ghana yeah i stayed with him even for a while till i it's not like for a while i literally was with him during that period till i left do you Stay get UK. it yeah. yes exactly and now we no longer call ourselves as friends, like my cousin. Oh, yeah. He's my cousin. Yeah. Do you yeah, get it? Yeah, so yeah. I, I well. it's in in that particular um scenario, it's not like values or whatever. Yeah. Life just happened. And like you rightly said, sometimes too, as you grow up, as you grow, that's actually the thing. As you grow, you realize that you, you have different interests, or sometimes life just happens. Yeah. Do you get it? Do, do you know uh, for <laughs> so for for me, right? Yeah. Um I think every school I go to and the kind of friends, my friends usually um, come from school. Mm. At home, my only friend is my mom and my sis, my siblings. Yep. I'm always with them. I don't, occasionally, maybe once in a while, the guys in the area will call me, let's go and play football. And then I join them just once in a year, I'll say. But in school, that is where I make most of my friends. Now, moving from high school, um, um, junior high school in Ghana to high school. The kind of friends I had in junior high school, I realized that some of them were doing different programs. Mm-hmm. You can't have 
so uh, the discussions don't really align because you know yeah. y- you want that that kind of oh maybe you are studying arts you are doing science you you want from high school that is where you begin to choose your career your profession so you want people who are associated in that that line so your friends will erupt from your high school and you leave those JHS friends behind unless of course they stay in the same area with you where you yeah. see them often it's hardly that you continue to be that very close friends with them so in high school i had um two friends who i was very close with they all came from the town that i was seeing yeah and where i never thought that we will have that break in communication later getting to the end of uh, our year in high school i had my first girlfriend and right after high school right after high school i t- it was just my girlfriend i was speaking to for two years i wasn't calling any of my friends it's just once in a while i don't know what happened you were here on previous episodes saying bros before girls no do you know my friend continue no continue the, I, i'm not the kind of person who will be calling often charlie i've not heard from you and all that it's just a click of friends now mm-hmm. that uh, i often call to to ask what's up i've not heard from you and all that but the junior the senior high school friends mm-hmm. my by then charlie first love bro it's like I, I was so into it i was new to it so i charlie charlie you you you, you, had you your first love you, in junior high school no no senior high school i mean S- completely, senior high school. oh me my own was get like it, kg or <laughs> class one or something <laughs> get into the latter part and charlie yeah. charlie like i they love him die like charlie hey. so my heart i i just i don't know look at this hey. boy so that was when i began touching myself for my friends mm. once in a while we will hear from each other maybe on facebook we, we even lost our, our normal contact so we weren't talking often so would you would you then agree that for friendships to thrive it demands some form of investment investment and it should be um from both ends yeah. so if i'm the person that doesn't call often mm. and you don't call yeah and you expect that oh francis should be checking up on me bro we, 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 we won't be at loggerheads but that communication will gradually die off and then our friendship will kind of separate yeah but we we broke up before i entered nursing school so in nursing school <laughs> then i met another lady and then but then i i had three uh two other male friends i was i was very close with and yeah. i sleep with them we are in the same place hey, so hey, hold up, hold up, no, i sleep with them in the same dormitory hey. in the same in the same hostel i mean so <laughs> <laughs> in the same hostel so we we were doing the same program our values aligned and our, ba- our upbringing so they weren't from you know sometimes when you are from a not so well to do family you easily align with someone who comes from a very humble upbringing yeah. than someone who is from that high class social status yeah so our values aligned we we started like that getting i think by the time we completed nursing school i got new friends yeah. and that is where we are now so just little things sometimes someone might say i realized that i had a very close friend and we our friendship just died off just like that though we've tried to patch up things what i realized i was thinking that this person was very close to me like i was calling this person day and night we were always on the phone we could talk for four hours the person sleeps for just three hours and goes to work like we are always on the phone we we she it was a she she was so like clingy you know that kind of friends who are how how would you say like they 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 won't they treat you as if you are their partners but you are not yeah. right it was just a comment from this person and i don't know it sank so deep into my heart and gradually she didn't do anything to me and i didn't have the courage to be able to tell her that this is what you've done that i'm not so happy with and that was it after here go and reconcile with your friend i've tried i've tried but those are the thing yeah, that's the thing that that just tore us apart someone might have overlooked it but for some people like myself who think about things so deeply it, it just destroyed our friendship and yeah um so there is this this thing that is quite common lately um when you go onto the social media that people who are 
posting stuff about fake friends and this person mm. is a fake friend, that person is a fake friend. What's your take on that? So, um, fake friends, would I say I've ever experienced a fake friend? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know their, their terminology for that, but I think from the examples and from the things I've, I've read on yeah. social media, right? Um, the, the friends going behind them to do something negative that mm-hmm. impacts them like hardly so let's say especially happens with ladies a lot yeah ladies a lot like um this we are very close we we speak about everything we share secrets and then i i hear that something that i've told you that should have stayed between us is let's say we gossiped about somebody yeah and then you've gone behind my back going to turn the story entirely different that i was the one saying it not knowing we were both discussing and my sister shared an experience with me where she's no longer friends with this person because we discussed this thing actually you see that girl i don't really like her she's like this and then you go and tell the the lady that you see this lady she she was saying this and this about you just to get favor from that yeah. person then you are a fake friend because yeah. it should have stayed between us now if you take my partner like you know girls are like that if they see that this my 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 um female friend has a good guy the guy is good looking and the guy is a womanizer you know most guys though they they wouldn't Shop. mind dating two friends so the lady will go behind yeah. her friends back no matter how close they are they, they are best friends even though it go start giving false information you know your girl went out today went to do this and then she will not get the friend's guy but then she'll destroy the relationship so that both of them will, will come back to square one yeah. if i'm not dating that, a good guy you weak. shouldn't that is you shouldn't news. date a good guy that is, and, and we'll still be laughing with you and you see what you're saying men do th- men do the same but, thing but, but men 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 bro, do the same men, men are in this boat more than women men do the same are you sure men are how many stories books. yeah I, see, I'm, I'm not see, disputing the fact that the thing the thing with society is that when it comes to this whole relationship issue and all yeah. of these but men can't go wrong no no men you men see do go men wrong. do go wrong but men, it's but, not talked but, about enough know, the know, emphasis is always on the lady do you know, do you know some, boys who have cock blocked other brothers do you know it's it's in few percentages compared to ladies you know ladies are guys are very jealous right but ladies can be jealous for reasons where you you don't understand if i don't get it you you shouldn't get it as well the stories with regards to the female gender is a lot there are so many ladies can form very good friendships yeah same as even more than guys but then the same the same happens where there's a higher percentage of good friends you will have a higher percentage of bad friends as well and 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 it's i don't think it's something that is debatable the ladies themselves know and in my opinion this whole fake friend thing i mean there are obviously like reasons you've given where people haven't been fair to their friends you know backbiting and all those bits but there are times where your presumably fake friend is probably going through a period or going through a thing like life happens you sometimes like you're saying the friends that you you've never heard from again there are some friends that if you meet them now even if you haven't heard from them in 20 years the kind of vibe you would have is like you didn't even miss out in a second that is different a fake friend do you get it a fake friend and my point can be worse than an enemy if you don't (laughs) oh it's if you don't hear from a friend for even one year you you probably classify them as fake no no listen do you get the reason why some people put um their friends in that zone of fake friends is they they feel that you've been maybe ungrateful or you you owe me something exactly what i was about to talk about uh, entitlement could make people feel that their friends are fake but they are not like oh i was very good with this person i helped you a lot and then now because you think things have become better for you, you are not minding me again. My circumstance would have m- might have changed. There's something mm-hmm. that is stopping me from keeping in touch with you. If you don't reciprocate or you don't try to check up, bro, I'm not hearing from you. What's up? What's going on? Yeah. You think I'm living good, but then I'm in terrible crisis. So you don't assume. 
if you don't like this friend that i said uh, we're very close like we're best friends but because of something that she said i started dissociating myself from her she complained a lot so she can assume she has every right to assume that i'm a fake friend yeah. you understand because i i didn't voice out why i'm dissociating myself from her and she should have asked me why but if you don't ask why you don't probe further so you show she doesn't even care in the first place no she cares but there are some people that complain more than finding solutions there are people that complain yeah, yeah, more definitely. than finding solution. So, um, I'm not hearing from Anna uh, or let's say, how would I even put this? Um, yeah, there's there's an issue at hand. You are calling your friend. Your friend is not answering. You you think that oh, um, this friend has traveled. This person has is in this situation. You assume for the person, yeah. But you don't make that effort to find out what is actually going on. Once you assume. There are so many things you can draw conclusions from and then you assume in the wrong way, which will impact your friendship. It's the same in relationship, like a, a partner thinks the other partner is cheating, whereas he or she is not. You, you've seen, the fact that you've seen signs doesn't mean that it's actually happening. So if you don't go that extra step further to find out, my bro or my sis, what, what's happening? I'm not hearing from you. Or you can see a friend and I'm very cool with Fifi, yeah. but... I see him in town and like I act as if I've not seen you. You'll be very hurt. Yeah. So ah, is this Francis. And if you don't ask me later on that fans, what's up? This unlike you. Um, um you you saw me in town and you didn't mind. Maybe I even called you and you you ignored me. Probably I'll say that maybe there was someone following me mm. and I didn't want to. I just wanted to focus. So I'm very sorry. If you don't go that extra step, you assume and it's it's at your own peril. You understand? Yeah. Sometimes you think that, oh, this person is being a fake friend, so I won't mind him. If you don't mind him, the person also actually cares less. The friendship <laughs> dies. And you know, who loses? For, you know, you'll be at the much losing end than... Because sometimes we fail to forget that. And I will stand... I will, I will, I'm sitting on this table till I die. There are some people could be friends could be family could be whatever but now we're talking about friends that you can't afford to lose them i have friends quite recently so i have a very good friend from high school i don't even call him friend again we are now like brothers so i have this brother from high school mm -hmm. all the way to till now and there was a time where you know before i relocated during that period where i was finding a new job all of those bits yeah. For like, we broke contact for a while and he was quite hurt. So through another person, because when I called him, he wasn't answering. When I texted him, he wasn't answering. Yeah. Through another friend, I got to know that, oh, this is what is going on. He said because of something he's not mentioned to you. Exactly. And mm -hmm. I had to send him a message apologizing mm -hmm. that, oh, bro, this, this, this and that. And now we are cool. Such a person... I can't afford to lose him. Like, I need him yeah. in my life because mm. he has been there for me. Yeah. And I, I've also been there for him, but there are some people you can't afford to lose. That's just a thing. So, friendship shouldn't be a one way thingy. Exactly. It, sh it should come from both sides. It should you be should transactional. Invest, like, yeah. A, transactional, but not based no, entirely yeah. on that. You know, a transaction is give and take. Do so, it, it shouldn't be material. Yeah. But, you can transact emotions. People, you know, I feel like the weight of who, like, who's my friend or is, has now got to do with material transactions. Yeah. Like, Which this person didn't, didn't wish me on my birthday, didn't buy me a gift it, on my it's birthday. It's very silly. So I don't know. Me, <laughs> friend. Me, self, me, my, as I day here right now, my birthday, self, last year, I forgot my birthday. I'm telling you. I dated this lady, right? <coughs> one of, one of my exes. And then, we dated for nearly three years. She never posted me. <laughs> she never posted me. But, okay, so <laughs> she's now my wife. She never posted me. But she posts me like now when I don't even feel like she should post me, <laughs> right? Had it been that I assumed, because those times were... Though we were dating, but we we're more friends. Yeah. Had I assumed that 
because this person is not posting me, the person doesn't like me, I would make a silly conclusion and probably end end the relationship mm-hmm. thinking that this person doesn't care or yeah. For for some she had a very genuine reason which is quite understandable though it hurts you, you feel like oh this person should post me to show that kind of you that posting uh, issue self you continue we'll come to that on another you time. know yeah yeah so some of these silly things where people base on to judge or uh, the 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 value or the weight of friendship is just so annoying and People lose good friends to exactly. some of these uh, um, stupid excuses. Uh, yeah, in ab- quotes. absolutely. Yeah, because you, sh- you should, like I said, it's it's some form of investment. And when you find the right people, you see that these guys are going to help me. These guys are going to push me. Try as much as you can and keep them. Yeah. They're people you need in life more than they need you. Do you know, there are people that it? I feel that I don't even deserve their friendship. You know? <laughs> they are more loyal to me as friends yeah. than I am to them. <laughs> if, within our friendship, yeah, yeah, yeah. or even um, one one of our friends, Kofi, yeah, he's he's that guy. Like yeah. <laughs> when you call him, that bro, that's this thing yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm going yeah. to, and he can make a way for you. He'll he'll go. He'll bring yeah. heaven down to earth yeah. to do that thing for you. Yeah, and sometimes boy. you feel that you've not done enough to appreciate. The, yeah. this person right so i think that sometimes it's just we are too proud to to you know say we are sorry and try to you know sustain yes yeah so i i just saw this video of uh this pastor i don't remember his name but he said there are some people that they hurt you they wrong you but you should apologize to them they are your friends you should apologize to them because you need them, like based on what, yeah. what you said. You need them more than they need you. Absolutely. Sometimes you, you don't realize it, but the kind of value they add to your life. No matter how bad you feel they've hurt you, you should apologize to them and keep them close to you. Yeah. And it's it's crazy. You won't you won't understand. I've had a very personal experience yeah. with, with that thing that for that this person, who who does he or she think he is. But you sit down and realize analyze your friendship yeah and you see that no this person is my god on earth like this person holds so much value in my life even more than family yeah and i can't afford to lose that person exactly yeah so i think we we these are so, you see there are certain hidden wisdom 21st <laughs> tw- in the in this 21st century it's like everybody has ego bro everybody has ego the penniless, like those of us who are even penniless, oh. who have nothing. Yeah. The, 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 like, it's it's mind-blowing how true this is. Like, there are some people that you will need them. Hey, you will need them. You if they are not in your life, you will feel something is lost. Yeah. And that's how I felt with this friend I'm talking about. Like, I was like, nah, I, I can't. This guy, do you get it? I need to get him back. Yeah. Did recently, yeah. we're talking about um our, our colleague Everlasting. When we're calling him and he, we, he, we weren't really yeah. hearing from him. I was so worried as if, ah, like, exactly. why, why am I so worried that Everlasting's vibe has changed? Yeah. Though he, wa- he was going through something, but I felt that no, I saw if he has anything he's going through, he has to tell me. Like, I felt, I felt yeah, that kind exactly. of burden. We should, we should we, we be. Bear, we bear his loop. burden. Exactly. Yeah. We should be in the loop. When and your friend is not out. happy, like, we call Kofi and Kofi's not happy, he's upset about something. Like, yeah. We, we are worried about him. Exactly. Like, yeah. You. And, and that's why I feel like circle of friends is, is sometimes great. Yeah. The kind of circle you will be in determines a lot because we, we are in a circle where you know you can rely on each other. Like if you need X amount of money, you know you can get it. If yeah. you need X amount of something, yeah. if, you, if you need prayers, you know your friends can pray for you. If you... Do you, do you get what I mean? So and we yeah, underestimate these little you, you values were, you of were life. You are saying that I said, bros before ladies. Yeah. Like has it had it been that I'm I'm not married, right? Our circle of friends, I won't trade it for any woman on earth. <laughs> had it been that I'm not married? Yeah. Now you I tell you, you've betrayed no, 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 no
We oh, still yeah, keep yeah, the fire most, burning. Most definitely. We were, no. we're all here for the yeah. wedding. We're yeah. here for New Year. We'll be here for Easter. You understand. We'll be coming again for something Every, else. Yeah. <laughs> but I wouldn't trade it for anything because, yeah. Charlie, you, I, you, I can't afford to yeah. lose it. I can't afford to lose it. <laughs> yeah. 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 We, 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 I think we, we are lucky to have such good people in our lives. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. We, we don't thank, I don't think we thank our friends enough. Me, I, I, I always pray that yeah. God should make every friend of mine rich. Yeah, that's every God should bless each and every friend of mine. I'm why should you be jealous about a friend when a friend is progressing? Do you know the way I I value and I'm so happy when my friends are going there? Yeah, just a phone call from a friend, yeah, saved me time, it saved me an opportunity, yeah. So I went to school when I was going to sign um, this clearance form to travel. You know, all these uh, uh, wahala with regards to yeah. doing signings and all that. I went to school. This principal said, I waited for her for morning so she finished her meeting. He told me it was late so I should go. And I had to leave from that place, travel five hours journey to Accra because I had to go to work the next day. This one said she wasn't going to sign. And I Imagine. called, I called Kofi. And Kofi said, okay, wait, I'm coming. Spoke to this person. The next minute, they, they came for my paper and it was signed. Did you get it? I would have traveled back. And I don't know, if I had traveled back, I would have cursed that woman. <laughs> but, <laughs> thank God. Thank God. Just ah. a phone call from Kofi. Yeah. So, relationship as... um. Joshua Selman says, "It's currency, yeah. relationship. You, Charlie, there are places you enter just because of your friends. Yeah, yeah, just because so we here last, yesterday we were just talking about the kind of people we want to associate ourselves with, just yeah. because of our podcast. Yeah, you know, you you need you need people. You, you need people. It. Not everybody qualifies as your friend, but there are some people you need them. You need to make them your friends compulsorily." You have you need to get them on your Compose, side. Compose really. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it shouldn't be a rich person or a poor person, but the value the person holds. Exactly. Yeah, should should be your driving force for friendship. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think we've had a very good discussion. Yeah. Like we, it's it's been a very good. Uh, it's been a very good episode. It's it's exposed us to things that we probably weren't even considering, like when you call someone a fake friend, the part that you're probably not hearing from the person doesn't, doesn't mean, mean that. No. You know, people go through stuff and you should do well to check on check your on, friends. Check on those someone, you, yeah. Those you've decided to make your friends. Yeah. You should do well to check on them. If they don't check on you after a while, after a while, sometimes it's natural that the vibe dies. Yeah. But if there's something you can do to salvage the situation, do that. Because sometimes the destinies of your friends are hanging on you. Or exactly. yours hanging on them. Exactly. And if you downplay it, you might end up, you know. Yeah. So that brings us to question of the day. So question of the day. What limit would you go for a friend? Like, to what extent? Let me put it that way. To what extent can you go for a friend? So Jesus Christ is the ultimate friend. He died for us. I don't think I'll, I'll be able to <laughs> go to that extent. <laughs> but what extent yeah. can you go for a friend? We, Would you want to answer or you you let let's respond in the next episode with all the other okay. things? Yeah. All right. But definitely I'm not I'm not dying for any of my <laughs> friends. Um I'm not giving you a loan or any money beyond a certain point. Okay. And we'll talk about that in, in because okay. see, let bro, let's end this. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so that brings us to the end of our episode on yep. friendship um you wanted to talk more but we, we are trying to limit the duration mm -hmm. for for the episode gradually as our numbers grow we'll we'll do more long-form content yep. but so that you can stay till the end of of this video we are trying to shorten it so thank you so much for sticking with us to this moment um, hopefully we we'll see you in the next episode if you've not liked this video, please like it, share it to someone, yep. and then put your thoughts in the comment section. If it's your first time, as my brother said earlier on as we started the video, please subscribe. Help us get that numbers. 
help us push uh, our, our numbers up and then uh, YouTube will recommend us to new viewers as well. Any last words? Um, no. Then it's peace. Peace out.